Hi there, it's Jo Fitzgerald here from Tiny Sponges. Um, any of you who've read my last post, there's a blog as well that you can go to, about how important it is for your children to be outdoors, to be connecting and engaging with nature, and why that is. You know, the benefits for their development and their learning are just so incredible. There's been lots of research done. Children learn and develop so much better when they're connecting with nature, when they're doing something outdoors, than they do, you know, in, in the house in a classroom, in a nursery. So really it's down to us to take them outside and uh, to let them engage with nature. And it is down to us. So we kind of need to do things uh, to be proactive in that. And so I've put together kind of a list of 10 things. Um, and in the short videos, I'm just gonna be explaining to you one by one what they are and how you can do that. So the first one is, notice it okay and this is for you you've got to start noticing nature it's really really important so you can start by going outside in the morning doesn't matter where you are whether you're in town or country and just taking a few moments and thinking what can I hear what can I see you know what is there in nature that's around me at the moment it could be flowers in your garden. If you don't have a garden, it could be birds in the air. You know, think about the noises that they're making. Think about what kind of birds they are. If you're in the town, it's gonna to be a pigeon. Uh, other things that you need to do are think about the weather. You know, is it cold, is it hot, is it icy? Uh, if, I, if I breathe out, can I see my breath? Because it's so cold. You know, you need to be noticing all of these things and asking questions. And when you've got your children along, keep asking the questions. What kind of a day is it today? Are there any leaves on the tree? What, what colour are the leaves? What shape are they? All these kind of things, you know, you're engaging your children. Uh, I understand that not everyone is really into country file. Uh, you, you don't really have to be. You know, all you need to do is to have a little bit of an appreciation and take it all in. That's really, really important. If you're not turned on to nature, you know, if it doesn't do anything for you at all, then that's a bit of a worry, really. And I think you really need to make an effort because what you'll be doing is you'll be putting what you think and what you feel onto your children. And by doing that, you're kind of denying them all these really, really really valuable learning opportunities and they are really valuable okay so get over yourself a little bit and just go out there and and just have fun the, the only thing the other thing about being outside in nature is not just noticing it nature is free it doesn't cost anything you know it's all around us wherever we are whether we're in the town or the country it's all around us and it doesn't cost a thing to to notice that it's really important so we don't all have gardens but we can all get out to the park or we can notice like little green places around us um, and let's get our children interested in that you know all the children like Peppa Pig they all like jumping in muddy puzzles uh, that's a start um, and if you start noticing nature then your children are going to too so you're out at the park or the beach or woods wherever with your children and they're asking you questions and because you're not a country file person uh, you don't know the answers uh, that's okay what are you going to do google it everyone can google it you can look it up with your children um, everyone can find it on google but you know, think about maybe taking them to the library, getting them some really nice books on, I don't know, trees or uh, birds, anything that you want. Um, that's a really nice way of interacting with your children, getting them interested and finding out stuff, you know, and you're finding out stuff together. So that makes it even more valuable. It's really important. Um, I think really what I'm trying to get over to you is that if you're noticing nature and you're learning bits and you know you're actually out there and getting yourself engaged with it then 
what you're going to be doing is you're going to be sparking a little bit of maybe curiosity and wonder in your children. And that's really, really important because think about it. Nature is an absolutely incredible thing. It's marvellous. It's wonderful. And we want to pass that on to our kids because, you know, it's their world and it's their future. So that's the end of the first video. If there's any questions that you'd like to ask me, um, any experiences that you've had, uh, yeah, just post it in comments below. That'd be really great. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, enjoy.